All right, I'm just plotting out the uh, looseness of the uh, hair. I'm going to come right back and show you what I'm going to do. Hopefully. Time to play with some clay. All right, I made an armature for the uh, piece of hair that's going to be sticking out. And I just stuck it in a flame so that I could push it into the uh, clay. Ooh, it's hot. Got to let that cool off a little bit. And I need to... Bend it down just a little. I'm going to let it cool first. If I'm going to have hair sticking out there, I've got to have some kind of an armature for it. I don't know how much you can see with my big hands in the way, but... I was going through Google and I did a search for blowing hair, women's blowing hair. I found some pretty good references. Not great, but pretty good. Found one really crazy one. I'll show you that one here. The reason I'm using an armature is I don't want this to start drooping. The clay can't hold itself up. And I just got to cover up the uh, wire in the back. No big deal. Now there's a different direction the hair goes in behind her neck from the pictures I've seen and uh, I got to try to emulate that in some way Let's see I better get my silicone tool and press it up there I know the light's not good in the dark recesses, but uh, I can't do anything about that. For some reason, I got a Willy Wonka song going around in my head. Come and see. Do, do, do. I don't know why I got that going through my head. You can't do hair with every single piece of hair. You've got to try to indicate it anyway.
and the hair is going to be continuing down here from under her arm. That gives me the fill-in I need between her arm and the uh, shawl. on that a little bit. Going to add just a little bit of hair right there. I got wrinkles to do in the uh, bodice of her dress. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bodice or bodice. I've noticed that there's a little bit of hair, short hair, that has a tendency to come up from underneath in one photograph I've got. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Not too crazy. I'm just uh, going to take smooth it out a little bit with this ronce and all. Yes, there's structure to the uh, hair that blows in the wind. And I think I got it. I think I got it. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how I feel next week when I come back and work on this. I'm liking it. I'll just have to see how I feel once I get this side done. Anyway, that's I'm having an idea right now, and I'm just coming back for a quick moment. I want to frame her face in, and I'm thinking I might have some hair coming across like this. I'm going to have to cut that down a little. That would frame the face in nicely, even from this angle. Anyway, just an idea that was flashing through my head. It's the way ideas are developed. All right, see you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.